Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebrin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash files to boot the partitions on your Android phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, if you are flashing the file from a stock firmware, then make sure that the stock firmware is of the same version which is currently installed onto your phone. You could verify the same by going to the settings menu on your phone, then go to about phone and then go to build number and verify that the file which you are flashing should be of the same firmware as of which is corresponding to the build number on your phone. So for example, in my case, the build number is 231215.009 and this is the same stock firmware which I have on my PC as well as you could see. So for the sake of reference, I'll be flashing the boot IMG file. So I'll extract the boot IMG file from the same firmware which is currently installed onto my phone. So if you're using the stock firmware, then make sure that is the same one which is there onto your phone. If you have checkmarked this requirement, then let's move ahead with the next step. Apart from that, you will also have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking on your phone. So for that, go to the about phone, then tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Then go back, go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on OK. You might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow. And with this, debugging is now enabled. Once that is done, you will have to now get hold of the platform tools folder from here. So download it and then extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. Once that is done, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to its address bar and type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, you are now good to go ahead. So now you will have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, then you could refer to my guide and get this job done. In short, you have to boot your phone to fastboot mode and then simply use the fastboot flashing unlock command. You will get a prompt on your phone. Use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. With this, the bootloader will be unlocked. Once that is done, you will now have to boot your phone to fastboot mode. So let's do that as well. For that, type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now boot into fastboot mode in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we will move ahead with the next step. So this fastboot screen might vary depending on the phone that you are using. Currently, I'm using a Pixel phone. So this is the fastboot mode in my screen. And as you could see, the device state is shown as unlocked, which signifies that the bootloader has been unlocked in my phone. So let's now move ahead and flash the required file. Whatever file you want to flash, you will have to transfer the file to the platform tools folder. So in my case, I want to flash the boot IMG file. So I will copy it from here and transfer it inside the platform tools folder. Once you have done the transfer, likewise rename it to the required name and make sure to rename to remember that name as well. So in my case, it's the boot IMG file. And now I'll flash this file across both the slots. So let's verify the various commands for that. So the first command is this one. So keep in mind that the fastboot flash keyword will be there across all the commands. After that comes the partition name and then comes the file name. So in my case, it's the boot.img file which I am flashing and I am flashing it in the boot partition. So this is the boot name of the partition and A and B are the slots, the active and the inactive slot. We are flashing the files across both the slots. So this is the fastboot flash keyword which is there across all the commands. This is the partition name and then this will be the file name. So you will have to change them accordingly. If you are flashing the vendor meta file, VB meta file or vendor boot file, then instead of boot, you will have the vendor boot and over here you will have the vendor boot IMG file. Likewise, if you are flashing the modem file, then it will be the modem underscore a modem.img or modem underscore a non hlos.bin. And similarly, make sure to change the file name and the partition name 
accordingly as of now for the sake of reference i'm using the boot file so whatever file you are flashing should be there inside the platform to folder if that's well and good then now let's get started with the flashing so the easiest method of flashing the file across both the slots is by simply listing out both the slots manually in the command so first off we will flash the boot img file to the slot a so just copy and paste the command here and it will flash the boot img file to the a partition and it will take a few seconds depending on the file size likewise let's now copy the second command and paste it in the cmd window so let's do that as well and it will now flash the boot img file to the slot b and will take only a few seconds and with this we are done so this was the first method in which you have to manually specify both the slots a and b moreover you will have to type in the commands a couple of time the first command is for the slot a whereas the second command is for the slot b the next method is the easier one and in this method you could combine both the slots into one single slot and make the command as slot all this signifies that the file has to be flashed across both the slots moreover this is the fast boot flash same keyword across all the commands and this is the partition name so the slot all keyword will come after the partition name in my case the partition name is the boot and the file name is the boot img so the slot name which is the slot all this signifies that the flash that the file boot img has to be flashed across all the slots so you will have to place the slot all keyword in between the partition name and the file name so let's simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window as well and it will now flash the boot img file across both the a and b slot so let me show you that as well as you could see it has first flashed the file to the boot a partition and then flashed the file to the boot b partition and it has saved our time as well because we don't have to manually flash to both the slots so if you are flashing numerous files from the stock firmware or fastboot rom it's better to use the slot all command because it will save quite a lot of time as well apart from that there exists one more command but this command does not work across numerous phone it only tends to work across some xiaomi phones i have done a testing and it has only worked across a few xiaomi or poco phones so in this case you will have to use the fastboot flash keyword and then boot underscore ab so we are combining both the partition name in the in one command as well and we are using the boot underscore ab and this is the file name but th this command did not work on my oneplus or the pixel phone so if you are us using either of the two phones please don't use this command it might work across some xiaomi phone but for example currently i'm using a pixel phone and if i use this command let me show you i will get an error message and the file will not be flashed fastboot error command failed so th this command might only work on some xiaomi phones so as of now your best bet is to use the slot all command or if you want to manually specify the slot then use the underscore a underscore b command apart from that i have seen across numerous forums that that some people use this command as well in which they don't specify the slot so in this case the file will only be slot will be flashed to the active partition and that's just about it it will not be flashed to the inactive slot and that is why this command should not be used if you want to flash the file across both the slots so let me show you what i mean currently if we verify our active slot so let me open a new cmd window for this task and i will show you what i mean exactly so if i now type in fastboot get var all and hit enter you could see my current active slot is so just a minute let me show you my current slot currently is uh, just a minute it should be here so as you could see my current slot is b so now if i use that command to flash the boot img file it will only be flashed to the b partition and not to the a partition so let me show you that as well so let's use this command and check out the result so just a minute hit enter and as you could see it's automatically sending the file to the boot b partition and it has only flashed the file to the boot b partition so if you simply use the command without writing any partition name then it will automatically be flashed only to the current active partition and the file will not be flashed to the inactive slot so please don't use this command your best bet is to either use the second command which is the slot all or manually specify both the slot a and slot b and the task stands complete so in short this command is the manual one which works across all the phones 
Likewise, this command is the shorter and easier one, which also works across all the phones and you could use it as well. But the third command only works across a few Xiaomi phones. It does not work across OnePlus and Pixel phones. So you may or may not be able to use this command. Then this command is will only flash the file to the current active partition as I have shown you. In my case, the current active slot was B. So it only flashed it to the B partition and not to the A partition. So please don't use this command. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.